Hi everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're going to go over my top 15 shortcuts for Cubase 11 Pro. Let's get started. Number one on the list is Command Scroll. I use this to zoom in and zoom out to make cuts or whenever I need to edit some MIDI. Number two on our list is Spacebar. I know it's a simple one, but it's the one I use the most to start and stop tracks. Number three on the list is the forward slash. This one activates the loop feature or cycle. Number four on the list is the number one. It'll return your cursor to your left locator. Next is C. It activates the metronome or click track. Number six on the list is the asterisk. Use this to record your vocals. Make sure the correct track is highlighted. Number seven, we use F3 to show our mixer console. There you can do your panning and adjust your volume level. For our number eight shortcut, we use F5 to load the media bay. There you can get all of your content, samples, and loops, even some presets. Our ninth shortcut is actually a double. We use F9 and F10 to select our cursor tool. You can select the scissors, the glue, eraser, or comp tool. For our number 10 shortcut, we use the up and down arrows to select our tracks. After you select the track, you can use the S and the M to solo and mute audio. For our number 12 shortcut, we use J to turn our snap on and off. For number 13, we're going to use a couple of shortcuts we've already learned. We use F10 to select the scissor tool. We'll command scroll to zoom into the track. We'll make our cut. We make sure both sides of this track are highlighted. And then we hit the X to insert a crossfade. Our next shortcut is also a double. We use the plus sign and the minus sign to fast forward and rewind the track. Command S is our last and number 15 shortcut. I think it's the most important one because that actually saves all the work that you've done. Thanks again for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. If you wanna see some other content like this, go ahead and leave a comment. Thank you.